Hello, hello, and welcome, uh, fellow YouTubers, to another video from my channel. And it occurred to me that I haven't done a vinyl sort of uh, release or unboxing in a long time. Love me some vinyl. I don't collect it like I do uh, laser discs or Blu-rays or DVDs or things like that, but I do love vinyl. If it's something that I really enjoy, something that I really want to have for a long time, I will seek out vinyl and pick it up. That said, I am a member of the Third Man Records Vault, uh, which is essentially a uh, quarterly um, sort of fan service wherein you get an exclusive release from the Third Man Records library. Um, Sometimes it's, well, sometimes it's exclusive, sometimes it's a re-release. In this case, it is a um, special edition. Um, anyway, and they usually package it with some other little goodies as well. <clears throat> Very collectible. These things go for $60 every uh, quarter, and believe you me, they are worth it. Even if you don't always like uh, the uh, subject matter of the... Um, album, you can always flip it on eBay. Anyway, I just received this package yesterday, the new Vault package from Third Man Records, and I didn't even open it yet. This is going to be a true unboxing for everybody. There's my kitchen. Love the scenery. <laughs> and all the dirty dishes in the uh, in the sink. My wife will like that if she sees this. <laughs> but uh, here's the package. Um, you got my address there. I don't really care if you see it or not. It doesn't really matter. Um, Frag fragile vinyl inside uh final goodness that is so let me go ahead i'm going to take a drink of coffee here and we're going to open this sucker up uh, goodness okay so let's uh i've never done this quite like this before shit let's uh Try to get a better angle on what I'm doing here. Of course, it's not coming off the way that I'd like it to. That's what overexcitement, overenthusiasm gets you. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, uh, tear that off. Ooh, what do we have here? Okay, so first off we have something that I, I know what this is, but maybe you don't. I don't know. We're going to find out what that is. Uh, here you go. This is the exclusive, exclusive new album release from, hang on, new album release from The Dead Weather. That's uh, Jack White, sort of a super group, Jack White. Uh, Allison Mosshart of The Kills. That guy, I can't remember his name. And it's, I, I should know. And this guy, I, I, I know who he is. Uh, he's the bass, bassist for the group. Um, he's played in a lot of different gr great groups like uh, uh, The Greenhorns. And uh, he actually played with, with uh, White on The Raconteurs. He was with City and Color for a while. Jack Lawrence, I want to say. Hmm, not sure. They say that you don't really, that you weren't really a fan of any group if you don't know the bass player. So, anyway, it's a Jack White project, and I am a huge fanatic of his work. I think he's certainly one of the better musicians that's working out there now, trying to keep um, roots, roots type rock alive while still being creative about it and innovative. So, and he's a pretty busy guy. Anyway, this uh, was just released, I think, digitally yesterday. Um, so I got it yesterday, so that's kind of interesting that I received it the same day it was released. But anyway, just luck of the draw there. Um, this packaging is limited. It has uh, some very interesting um, sort of flares and flashes there from the, from the uh, heads of the group. Look at the... Uh, at the back of the record. That's a pretty cool image. You've got uh, all three of them there in a graveyard of tires <laughs> holding up Alison Mossart. Very, very cool. I love it. This is their third album. It's called Dodge and Burn. 
their first two albums, Whorehound and uh, Sea of Cowards, were very good. I, unfortunately, I only have those on CD, not on vinyl. Um, would love to get them uh, on vinyl, but they're going for a pretty, pretty top dollar right now. Um, I've heard one song off of this album, and it is... Hang on a second. I'm sorry, guys. I just need to adjust my camera. Uh, there you go. I'm being lazy right now. <laughs> I've heard this is the, this is the first, I guess, single. Um, I feel love every million miles. There is a video on uh, on YouTube, on the YouTube, and on the Vivo. That's pretty cool. Um, and a couple of these other songs, I think, were, were released in an EP that came out a couple years ago. I remember Rough Detective came out, um, which is a very good song, real rocker. Uh, so, anyway, let's go ahead and just tear into this some bitch, Because that's what we're here for. Let's be rocking out of this all night. So, pardon me, fellas and ladies, while I do this. I'm trying to do it. Over my camera. Holy shit, they actually give you a uh, little download card. I'll go, well, you know what? I'll go ahead and show it to you. I'm posting this. Bef I'll, I'll redeem this before <laughs> I post it. So, there you go. Uh, very cool. <sighs> okay, now I like the feel of this record. It has a... Um, Use your words here, Steve. Use your words. Um, it has a very smooth but not papery feel. And the uh, little highlights there, it's a kind of a rough sandpapery feel. It's glittery. It's shiny. It's nice. So, uh-huh. And this is a gatefold. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, all right. There you go. Uh, there's Jack White's back, Allison Mossart's back, and there's Jack uh, front. I wonder if that's an exclusive little uh, gimmick there when you open it. I don't know. It's pretty cool anyway. I like it. Oh, that's funny. Good stuff. Let's pull out the vinyl. How about it? Okay. What do we got here? Okay, here we have, I guess, there's some liner notes. Excuse me for one second, folks. There we go. Yeah, some liner notes. We have some uh, lyrics. It's a pretty cool sheet to have. I always enjoy looking at the sheet, the sheet of lyrics whenever they come, just to kind of, you know, get a little extra perspective on the... Song I'm listening to. Cool stuff. Okay, here we go. This is, uh, hang on. I'm sorry. Oh, that's, that's pretty damn cool. It's, okay, hang on. It is a sort of a little poster there. What are they doing to that poor girl? Oh my gosh. <laughs> man, that is just friggin' too cool for school, man. This has just made my day. Oh, yeah. Awesome. So, uh, there's that. Suitable for framing, I guess. And then here is the, uh, here's the gravy, so to speak. The record. And it comes on, as I recall from the, uh, yeah, it comes on some really crazy looking colored vinyl there. Different little flashes and flourishes of... It looks kind of dirty, right? I like that. That's very cool. And you get the... Uh, hang on. Uh, there's the track listing right there. That is freaking cool, man. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm genuinely surprised. This is what happens when I do a live unboxing. I'm like, oh, this is so cool. So, I love it. Love it. You know, I wasn't sure at first if buying into this this quarter's package would be worth it. I mean, it's $60 for, you know, an exclusive vinyl release and some goodies. 
But no, man, this is totally worth it. I'm totally psyched. And we haven't even gotten into the, uh, this. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Let me open it from here, just to save time. It is awesome. Look at it. It is a, an exclusive dead weather. Shit, I'm sorry. Exclusive dead weather playing cards. Every vault package comes with something that's a little more disposable. <laughs> this being uh, the one for this uh, this this quarter. Um, this is really cool. I love it. I don't know how much I really am ever going to use it. Let's see. It's very cool, though. Damn. Shall I open it? Fuck yeah, you should open it. Don't be like one of those guys that doesn't open anything. Holding up the fun is what my dad used to say. I'm going to have to edit this because I, there we go. You know, I may never take these cards out of the box ever again, but at least I can share with the world what the cards look like. Pretty much all the same when it comes to uh, the hand with the eye. Is that supposed to be sort of like a Louis Benwell reference? Or Salvador Dali, maybe? I don't know. Oh, that is fucking cool. Pardon my French. Check that out. What is that supposed to be? The Joker. <laughs> it's supposed to be the Joker. I like it. Uh, Ace. Ace of uh, Spades. All right? I'm not really a card player. So the face cards are the band member cards, I'm assuming. I wonder <laughs> what the Jack is going to be. Would the Jack be Jack? Who is that? Wait a minute. Yeah. Didn't see that one coming, folks. <laughs> the Queen is Allison Mosshart. And the King is the guy whose name I can't remember. Oh, that is too cool for school, man. That is awesome. Wow. So, this, honestly, very, very, bless you, my cat just sneezed. Very cool stuff. I am impressed. I'm actually more excited about this package than I am uh, last, the last package with the uh, Van Leer Rose, the, the uh, Loretta Lynn set, which I've already said, but, um, I don't know, I just, um, I find this to be just so much more of a, a packed release. Love this stuff. And, wait a minute, I think I am forgetting one thing. Yes, I am. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Shit, that's cool. Whoa. Yeah, I forgot about this. Comes with a full E4 of of the Dade weather, wetter, weather. You know what the hell I mean. I feel love every million miles, side A, and cop and go, side B. And this is a very much exclusive to this set only. You can't buy this, uh, this uh, 45 anywhere else. That's what I'm told anyway. And we'll look at that right now. Out of its jacket, here's the, uh, B-side, cop and go. I always love my B-sides. Be very careful here. Uh, the vinyl is very similar to, um, the, uh, the actual album. The, the uh, sort of yellow with sort of dark flashes 
Awesome. I don't collect a lot of 45s, so my 45 collection is rather small. Most of the stuff I have comes from all the different vault packages, because I I have only received... I haven't received any vault packages that haven't come with a 45. So, I have a very small, but I guess exclusive <laughs> collection of singles, and I'll keep on collecting them. I, you know, I mean, I, I would not sell them because uh, they're pretty special. You know, like last month, our last quarter with the Loretta Lynn release, um, it, um, it came with a single um, of the White Stripes uh, rated X, and I can't remember the other one. What was the A side? That's pretty terrible. Not really a Loretta Lynn fan. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it's very cool and I love it. And the White Stripes can do no wrong. Jack White, well, you know, he and he and the Black Keys, Pat Carney and Dan Auerbach, they they don't really get along very well. And I'm led I'm led to believe that maybe it's Jack White being the jerk on that end. But uh, I I'm the, of the opinion that if you're of a man with that much talent. <laughs> He can be a jerk, at least in my book, you know. I think he, I think he's really all about the music and his love of music and his love of sharing that music. So um, I'm definitely on the same page with him. Anywho, that is uh, the that is the uh, vinyl vault, Third Man Records vinyl vault package of uh, this quarter, and it is awesome. I am going to go. And while I'm uploading this video, I'm going to uh, be blasting this in my little office because there's nobody else in the house right now. Everybody's either at work or they're just out. <laughs> so my neighbors are going to be hearing some dead weather dodge and burn today. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Uh, I'll try to keep more vinyl stuff posted. Like I said, I don't buy much vinyl, but when I do, I like to share it. So... Anyway, uh, please comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate that. Thank you for watching. And until next time, next time, <laughs> uh, adios, folks.